talking about fan bases and, and, and where they are um, in the grand scheme of things and the devotion they have to their team. Now, rare is the day, Paul. Rare is the day that I, Hornets, Nesta fan base. Oh, I love that. I'm in for this. Before you. Typically, you rile them up, and I yeah. just kind of sit here and steer the conversation. But I dove into the opinion waters yesterday while watching Florida, Florida State. And I merely said, Florida State is not a top four team in the country <laughs> without Jordan Travis at quarterback. That's it. Correct. That's all I said. This morning, as we tape this, I have more Florida State Twitter attacking me because I said they are not a top four team without Jordan Travis. Well, Matt, let me now, this you. fan base, Paul. This fan base now believes that ESPN is out to get them no, because we don't like the ACC no. and we're creating the narrative that we're going to leave Florida State out of the playoff because of it. A couple of things. I've already said Michigan is has the most thin-skinned fan base in the country, so I can't say Florida State has the most thin-skinned fan base in the country. They're second, uh, and they always have been. I mean, this was a teacher's college 40 years ago that – became a big, uh, a big, great football power because of Bobby Bowden. And Bobby Bowden became famous. Uh, he played all the tough games. He played, he went anywhere. You know the story. And then when he had the moment to, you know, quote, put, put, the, put the big boy pants on and, and, and fight with uh, the guys he always wanted to be, he said no. I know I'm going historical here, but 30 years ago, a little bit more than 30 years ago, the SEC invited Florida State to join. They didn't want any part of it. Bobby told me that. Why would we want to be in the SEC <laughs> when we can beat up on Wake Forest and Duke and and all in Virginia? So there was always that rub, uh, and and he did well. Uh, but you know he, he has, and Spurrier used to say, you know they he, Spurrier's record against Bowden was terrible because they had a two game season every year, Clemson yep. and Florida. Uh, and they managed it really well. And, uh, and then Jimbo came there and, you know, they, they were, they remained thin skinned. Uh, I mean, I've dealt with them for a long time. And, 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 and by the way, who, who, which one of the fan bases in America got up a couple of months ago at a board of director, a board of trustees meeting and said, we're too good for the ACC. We want out. We belong elsewhere. We're open for business. Big 10 SEC. Who was that fan? Who was it? Who was that trustee? And what school did he represent? That, that was Florida State that that wanted to to secede from the ACC yeah. union. And and now they're upset that Matt Barry uh, dares to uh, make a make a factual statement that they're not they're not the same team. And we saw that last night. Hey, congratulations, Florida State! You beat Florida in the swamp. You beat a program that for the last two years has had a losing season. That's really a, that, that's a major. Con By the way, that was one of your big, that was one of your toughest games of the year because you're playing Louisville this week in Charlotte for the ACC championship. And by the way, that will be on ABC, which is part of ESPN, and we'll be promoting it all week. And we're proud of that game here at the Worldwide Leader. Uh, and but you lost to Kentucky at home yesterday. Shut up already. Yeah. It, yeah. It Yes. And I don't know. There's a difference, but like, I, even like the, there was a, there was a, a Florida state <coughs> writer coming at me. Of course. And, and I just, and I said, do you like, it just, just, this is just a big picture conversation. Does anyone, even the most Florida state, Florida, even Danny Cannell, who I will speak with this about him on his radio show Wednesday, cannot My look each other. You cannot look each other in the eye and say, Tate Rodemaker, that's the guy leading us to a national championship. And the whole thing, that the biggest thing, and, I, and this is my biggest stance on the argument, big picture, even outside of Florida State. I look at right now. Okay. I get it. Florida State's had a remarkable season. I've been on here and every other media outlet in the country saying that I believe that they're one of the most talented teams in the country. But when you lose your most valuable player right here, right now, they're giving me this, oh, Washington's been playing with their food. Texas has struggled. Yeah, well, Florida State barely got out of Chestnut Hill against Boston College, a 6-6 six and six team with a win. They barely got out of Clemson, who's an 8-4 and four team with a win. Okay, so every team has their ebbs and flows. But as you and I sit here today, could they beat Oregon, 
with Tate no. Rodemaker? No. Could they beat Texas? No. Could they beat Alabama? Could no. they beat Georgia? Could they no. beat Michigan? No. They couldn't beat Ohio State either. That's the argument. With Tate Rodemaker, that ain't happening. And so now I'm like, I'm not anti Florida State. I'm pro truth. They're not the same team no, without not. Jordan Tratt. It's not hard. And, you know, I, I, I hear all the analysts that you parade up and down Sports Center every day. And I don't care if you're undefeated in the Power Five conference. I really don't. That that does not guarantee. We, we've, we've already been there before. Give me the four best. And you just named six clubs that would beat Florida State right, right now. I don't know. Right I, now. Uh, I mean, they were brilliant on Labor Day weekend against LSU. LSU turned out to be a flawed team. Uh, we know that now. Clemson, we, we've already talked about. So what else have they done? Uh, what else have they done? And well, I they're twelve and zero. That's what that's what they did. That, 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 that does. TCU uh, was undefeated last year until the uh, Big Twelve championship game, and you know we we made that mistake a year ago. Let's not make it again. I don't want to see Florida State in the playoffs because they're going to get blown out by one of these clubs. Yeah, and if if, if they let's just project for let's say they get by Louisville, I would because right now Florida State's fifth. If they get by Louisville, I would bet they slot them at four. Sure. Georgia, until proven otherwise, is going to be the number one ranked team. So we're going to trot out Georgia, oh. Florida State. Currently, Jordan Travis, different game. Tate Rodemaker, game over. It, it It's not watchable. Well, excuse me. It is watchable. Only to see Florida State lose. <laughs> so that's the <laughs> – that's the Florida State side of it. That, oh, so no, you've that, got Michigan fans. It, I've got all of Florida State after me because of a, a factual statement. Give me something. I can't feel. I just can't go.